Hi students, problem number 10. Two non-coherent sources emit light beams of intensities I and 4I. The maximum and minimum intensities in the resulting beam are to be determined. Now in your textbooks, you must have studied the condition for I maximum and I minimum for coherent sources only. Is it not? But for competitive exams, in the guides and the books, they have given the condition for the non-coherent sources. So take care, these are not coherent sources. They are non-coherent sources. Anyhow, I will begin with the condition, known condition first, okay? For coherent sources. For coherent sources, what we have studied, I maximum, I maximum is equal to square root of I1 plus square root of I2, the whole square. And I minimum is equal to square root of I1 minus square root of I2, the whole square. This is what we have studied for coherent sources. Now the condition for non-coherent sources. Okay, non-coherent sources. You must learn this also. It is very easy. So what is the condition? I maximum is directly equal to I1 plus I2 and I minimum is directly equal to I1 minus I2. Understand? Very simple. Now, you can see here, I1 is equal to I and I2 is equal to 4I. Is it not? I am going to substitute now. Okay, now therefore, I maximum must be equal to what? I plus 4I. So, this is I plus 4I. So, this is equal to 5i and i minimum, though here it is given as i1 minus i2, it is a modulus of i1 minus i2. Understand, whenever negative value comes, it is sometimes a lesser minus greater number will come. So, modulus only we have to write or it is i1 difference i2. So, I will take i1 difference i2. So that this is equal to 4i minus i that is equal to 3i. Okay. So i maximum is 5i and i minimum is 3i. So i maximum comma i minimum is equal to 5i and 3i. This is the answer. So which of the options is correct? You see here 5i and 3i. Option D is the correct answer. Therefore, uh, option D is the correct answer. So, this condition you have to keep in your mind. Okay, students, I hope you must have understood well. Fine.